now is the time of the year to where you can go out and enjoy the weather if it's nice outside and pick apples. And how about making a baked apple recipe that's also healthy? How's that sound? Sure looks good. May Pike with Home Cuisine is joining us this morning and uh, she's going to share her recipe with us. May, it smells so good. Good morning good. to you. Good morning to you too. Thanks for having me. Stella. Absolutely. You say this is a very simple and easy recipe? It is so easy. And this is one of those really great recipes that's so versatile. This mm -hmm. is great for breakfast. It's great for dessert. It's great for a snack. You know, you can make them ahead of time. It's, it's just kind of a no-brainer. It's also a great way to get kids to eat healthy food. And that is a hard thing to it's do. It's a at hard times. thing to do. Not to mention, if you went with this rather than a slice of apple pie for dessert, mm -hmm. you're going to save about 300 calories. All right, how about and that? And get some healthy goodness, too. Oh, we love the healthy goodness. We Let's get too. started, man. Okay, great. So here we have some, um, some sun dried cran cranberries mm -hmm. with walnuts. Um, when you buy these, make sure that you don't get the, the ones that are coated with sugar. Right. These are just sort of the straight thing. Gotcha. And then if you want to go ahead and start stuffing these Granny Smith apples that we cored out, um, one oh, thing to keep to. in mind, thank you, you're such a good helper, I am. is um, cut the bottoms off if you want them to stay flat on the, on the plate. May, how would you re uh, remove the seeds here? I just have a, an apple corer. All right. That it's, uh, it, you can get that anywhere. So here I've got my juice going. Mm -hmm. um, this is orange juice. You can use apple juice if you like. Um, it just gives it a little, a little punch. And then I have a little bit of brown sugar Splenda uh -huh. um, that is a sugar substitute that does have, I think it has a little bit of sugar, but it, keep, it still keeps your, your blood index low. It just gives it that nice flavor from, um, from the brown sugar. Uh, this what is, is it's apple pie seasoning, Ooh. which is predominantly c cinnamon, but it is the, the stuff obviously used in apple pie, but it has all yeah. those nice earthy flavors. Um, with lots and lots of nutmeg, which I think really brings this, this dish alive. All right, May, what's All right, the last you're doing a great agave? job. And then this is the agave syrup. Mm -hmm. Just do a little squirt of that. This is um, really, really sweet. Again, I know we, I tell you that every time, but you don't need as much of that as you would need of like honey or, um, or maple syrup. Gotcha. All right, our apples right. are stuffed Look with at that cranberries timing. and walnuts. You did a great job. I tasted and then a few, so they're, they're good. You just baste these mm -hmm. with this glaze. Um, you want to cover them and bake them for about 25 minutes, depending on how well done you like them. I like mine still a little bit crisp, mm -hmm. so that's about 20, 25 minutes. If you want them a little bit softer, just let them go until you're ready. Um, make sure you cover them really tightly with aluminum foil, and they'll steam. And then when you're finished, you want to put, put the rest on. All right, sounds and good. It. And you yeah. say, yeah, I mean, they're good for breakfast, they're lunch, great. or dinner. They're absolutely wonderful, and they're and they hold up pretty well too. All right, I like yeah. it. May right. Pike, thank you very Thanks much. For having she me, is sir. with Home Cuisine. For more information and this easy recipe, just go to our website, wdrb.com. There's May's information from Home Cuisine on your screen.